Hi right, guys, just a quick walk around video on your water sleeper trooper. Um, so under the bonnet, on the left hand side, you've got your air filter, washer fluid, brake fluid attached to the servo, engine oil gets topped up through this cap just here, and you can check your engine oil, do, 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 wherever that dipstick might be, over here from the green topped dipstick. You then got your engine coolant, sits up here in this reservoir here, and your engine and leisure battery. So, um, let's work out which one's which. So, da -da. this one on your right is your leisure battery, and this one here on the left is your starter battery, because you've got the nice big thick wires coming out from both terminals. Um, as for under the bonnet, I think that is about it. Over on the near side, we've got your diesel, uh, sorry, your fuel filler cap, uh, which is petrol. So it does say in there, unleaded or leaded. But obviously it's going to be leaded that you're putting in. Uh, unleaded, sorry. <laughs> What's up with me today? Um, so unleaded petrol going in here. Your bonnet release handle is this one just here on the passenger side. And inside the glove box there, really nice deep glove box in there. Inside the actual van itself, I will carry on around the outside in a minute, but uh, inside the actual van itself, we've got your whole um, two burner hob unit. So lift these up and that will hold it open like that. This piece pulls down and it gives you access to the grill as well. So you've got the two burners on the left and right and the grill in the middle. You've got a three-way fridge. So the fridge works on gas hookup or 12 volt so you need to cool the fridge down either via the gas or the mains electric to light it up on the gas all you need to do is turn your gas bottle on turn on the ignition switch there and then push in and round to the left with the dial once the ignition stops you can know that the flame is definitely lit and you know basically just leave it to cool down there's a little hole in the bottom left hand side of the fridge down there well, it's not actually a hole, it's a little cover, a little plastic cover. When you light it up on gas, or when you're trying to light it up on gas, you'll be able to see the flame lighting up inside that little peep hole down there. You've then got, on the right-hand side, like I said, you've got your electrical side. So if you have the electric hookup plugged in, you can press the electric hookup switch and that'll cool the fridge down via that. And if you've got the engine running, you can press down and that'll basically cool the fridge down or keep it cool whilst you're actually driving. So you need to pre-cool it, like I said, before you leave, either via the gas or the mains electric, and then switch over to 12 volt, just for when you're driving. The next ones, um, we've got your sink. So this gets held up by this over here. And then you've also got the other one, which opens up there as well. Uh, sink, like I said, very simple. Um, it's just cold water only. So you've got the single tap there. Lots of storage down beneath here. Um, I am just going to show you this locker down here. So you've got on the right hand side is your trip switches for when your hookup's plugged in. So if anything's not working on the hookup, have a little look in there and make sure they're on the upright position. And your gas isolator taps just there. So if you wanted to isolate the gas from any appliances, you can do so from there. There is also one up there on the top right, which should be for your propane uh, or your uh, Propex, sorry, um, heating system. The control panel is really, really simple. Um, all you've got is some fuses behind this little cover here, which you can get to by pulling off like that. It slots back in nice and easily. Um, you've got a fridge 12 volt light there. So that'll come on if you start the engine up and turn the 12 volt on the fridge. Low and normal battery voltages there. So if I, so the 12 volt is on at the moment, um, you can turn the pump on, all that sort of stuff, it's all there. So you're literally just turning on and off your 12 volt from there, pump, there's a 12 volt socket, um, water level, and that is honestly about it. Uh, the Propex heating is the only other appliance I really need to show you. So again, really, really simple how to actually use it. Push this button here to the right if you want just a fan only. Push it to the left if you want heating. 
So the heating will basically just come on uh, as long as the gas is switched on and you just leave it alone and it will just do its own thing. The heating will come out from this little black vent down here. And that is honestly it. Just uh, turn it off when you want to turn it off. Um, doesn't really get much easier than that, to be honest. Um, let's see what else we've got then. At the back of the van, um, obviously you've got this little shelf here, like a little parcel shelf. The gas locker is down here. There's not actually a gas bottle in the van at the moment, um, but I just thought I'd show you that's where the gas locker is. And a bit more storage up here. On the off side here, we've got your hookup point and your fresh water inlet point. So you will need the key to go into that in order to actually open it. Um, so if I just show you that, it's the small silver key, this one here. Key goes in, twist it, and the cap will come out. That is it. This little vent just here, just be careful of that when you've got your fridge lit up on gas because that's where the heat will come out for that. Uh, the roof, you've got these little catches here, so you just basically pull those off, one on the other side as well, and then the roof will go up nice and easily. Other than that, I don't think there's a huge amount else to show you. Uh, yeah, so I think I've shown you everything I can really. If there's anything you think I've missed out or anything you'd like going over again, just let us know. Uh, but otherwise, we look forward to seeing you soon. Catch your band. Thanks very much.